Welcome back to our traffic light panel uh, project and in the last episode we created a colored panel that we put inside of our um, frame and then we added a basic label to it. You could go on from there and add images and different things but um, in our traffic light project we want to add a traffic light panel so instead of just d doing this in the frame we want to add a panel that holds our traffic light object. So let's get started with um, this part of the project. So the first thing we'll need to do is to comment out our basic panel. And then we'll need to go ahead and create a new class called traffic light panel. And this is the basic graphics panel that's or cover that's going over our traffic light that will turn to different colors like red, yellow, and green to indicate that a particular light is on. So let's go ahead and make this class. And we'll click finish. And we'll create places for our instance fields, our constructors and our methods. Okay, so the basic ones that we're going to need to do um, in particular the, the classes that we'll need to use from the graphics classes are um, so we'll need to import java x.swing dot asterisk we'll need to import java.awt.color change color of the lights we'll need to be able to set the size of our panel so we'll do import java.awt.dimensions dimension without an s and we'll need to also import java.awt.graphics which is the basic 2D graphics library that we can use to draw objects like circles for the lights or a, a rectangle for the outside of the traffic light. We'll then need to add our constructor, so we'll say public traffic panel, traffic light panel. And then we will go ahead and we can set the background color of this panel so I'll say set background and like last time I'll just go ahead and color it white for now you could use any color that you prefer now um, it's giving me an error And I believe I'm not seeing it right now. I'll come back to it in a minute. And then we need set preferred size. I think it's our error is because we haven't um, created an instance of traffic light in the runner, but we'll check. And then in set preferred size, we'll create a new instance of dimension and we'll make our traffic light 180 by 220 which is the width and the height now one of the methods that we do need when we're creating a class is we need to use the paint component method and that is found in the graphics class so we'll just make a, um, a signature for this method so we'll say public void paint component and we're creating a local variable of the graphics class and we'll just name put that in a variable called page that we'll use later and then we need to say super super is a keyword that goes up and looks in the parent class in this case the graphics class and sees if there is a method called paint component and we'll pass in our page as a variable
and we'll go ahead and save. I'm just going to go check to make sure I spelled these methods correctly. This should be set p preferred. So that's p r e. And it's saying our error is Hmm. Let's go back to our runner class. Now once we have this Oh, I know why. We need what we need to do up here at the top is that we need to extend JPanel. There we go, that fixed everything. So what we're doing is um, this traffic light pa panel is a child of JPanel, and it's JPanel, which is one of the swing Java X swing meth classes that allows us to set the background and set the preferred size. Because you remember before we created an instance of JPanel, and then we did set background and set preferred size inside of JPanel, and then added it to our frame. But here we're making a class called Traffic Light Panel which is overriding um, JPanel and we'll learn more about this later on in the year when we talk about inheritance. So now we can go back to the runner class and we can make uh, we commented out our instance of JPanel here and we need to now create an instance of um, content pane and pass in our traffic panel class. So we'll say frame dot git content pane just like we did up above when we pass in panel and now we're saying add but now we want to create a new instance of traffic panel rather than just passing in the parameter panel so we'll say traffic panel or traffic light panel because that's what our class is named and then we're going Now we have an error here that it doesn't like. Let's go ahead and save. And let's check to see if it's we have all of our spelling correctly. Frame.getContentPane.add new traffic light panel. And that looks correct. Our error says that, let's go up to the top and make sure we have everything imported. Let's try importing graphics. That did not resolve our error. Looks like we have it spelled correctly. I would think we just needed to save the file. So sometimes when you have errors, um, all you need to do to resolve them is to save the file. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. And now you can see we have a panel that's colored white where we can put our traffic light panel on the inside. And so in the next episode we are going to build a traffic light panel object to go on the inside of our frame.
See you next time.